Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and welcome back to today's book review. This one is for Mix and Match Modern Crochet Blankets. There is 100 patterns, patterned textured strips for 1,000 of a unique those. Oh, this could be dangerous. So this book it has been written by Esther Creek, I hope. It's a bit jiggly on the writing, so I'm finding it difficult to read. Now, it was published in 2023 um, by Child, uh, David and Childs. Now, if you are in the UK, this book will cost you £16.99. If you are in the US, it's $24.99. Now, they've got a couple of other books here on that they're advertising. Um, one is Mosaic Crochet. And if you click the I button up the top there, I have that one on my bookshelf. I, um, I got it when I signed up for a magazine subscription. And then we have 100 Crochet Tiles. If I have that one, it will also be linked in the I button. There you go, if you enjoy this book, you've got two more from the same author that you can have a look through with me. Okay, so this does sound like a very, very dangerous book with a thousand, uh, what is it? A hundred patterned textured stripes for thousands of unique throws. We could be here a very long time. <laughs> so let's get straight into the book. Let's try and get it in shot for a start. Right, um, okay, so first up we have our introduction, then our tools of material and how to use the book. Inspirational blankets, there's one called Dreamland, another called Forest, Canopy, Desert Highway, Frosty Morning and Neon City. Then we have 100 strip patterns. We've got classic, textured, mosaic, fillet, embellishment, Ribbon and cable, tapestry, bobbin, uh, bobbles, puffs and popcorns. It was going so well till that last bit. <laughs> Can you tell what type of stitches? I don't like. And um, then we've got our basic stitches, a mosaic crochet, tapestry crochet finishing, about the author acknowledgements and of course our index. So uh, let's get straight in. Yep, so it's Esme here. Um, and she is a, a freelance crochet designer. Um, and there's a lot, a lot that she's chatting about there. Too much for me to quickly scan and pull out the best bits. I'd need a marker pen and I can't do that. <laughs> right, so we've got some uh, lovely images here showing uh, some of the uh, 100 different patterns actually in a blanket and we're gonna have that hopefully all the way through right so starting off the book it's tools and materials she's talking about the hooks the yarns and our hook conversion ta table is here as well which is really lovely and then we skip on to the next page which is how to use the book so we've got the section on getting started making a crochet strip um, starting chain multiples and some other bits and pieces there 
um, moving on. I'm sorry about this. I'm having to use um, a light, an extra light, and it's bouncing on the um, on the page here. So if you're planning to read this at night and you have issues like I do with uh, words bouncing and things, I'm sorry to say you may have to get some sort of magic cover to go over the pages on this one. Um, because as you can see, it's it can be quite hard to read because of it. Right, we've got blanket measurements, colour considerations, get all the yarn out. Very, very cool. And there's one with bubbles. You can keep that one, thank you. Right, um, then we move on to the next page, which is start a mood board, work around a vibe and keep it simple. Okay. So it's, she's giving you lots of information on here on how you can put these 100 patterns to use and create something completely unique for yourself. Right, we then move on to our key information. We've got our basic abbreviations, US v UK stitch names. It looks like this one may be printed in US terms. How cool, I prefer it. And then we've got repeat formats, so it's explaining what dot 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 dots mean, and of course the brackets. And then we move on to stitch chart symbols, so she does use those in the book as well. And then we come on to the different blankets. Now this one here is Dreamland, and as you can see, it gives you. The a letter of the um, a letter, and then it tells you the name of the section that you're looking at, um, the yarn the amounts that have been used, and of course how many she's chained to get the width that she's got. So we've got a labelled as alphabet for the second. So we've got A B C D E F G H I. And J and K at the bottom on this blanket. We then move on to a forest can canopy. Well done. Oh, it's different. Okay, how do you identify it then? Okay, so next to the letter here, we've got the K, and then it, it says K is popcorn diamonds. Okay, so. That one there is popcorn diamonds. All right, and then we move on again. And she's got them labelled exactly the same way there. So it's A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, and J through to K. But when it comes over onto this page here, they are um, they the name is given for each section but it does not correspond the same as the previous page. That's confusing me a little, but okay. And then again, we move on to this one. Now this one has got um, extended double crochets, zigzag bobbles, um, single crochet back loop sections, chunky zigzags, and even a sledge stitch. Okay, I did not read that in order and I jumped around because I'm an evil person. <laughs> okay, but um, as you can see here, there's uh, lots of different textures and uh, lots of different patterns and all sorts there. This one is the uh, Frosty Morning. Um, she used a, a five millimeter hook for this one. And the finished size is a 100 by 130 centimeters or 40 by 50, uh, yeah, 40 by 50 inches. Each strip measures 100 centimeters by 40 inch, um, which is 40 inches. Okay, um, so again, we've got lots of different ones there. We've got a Jacob's Ladder in here, a basket weave, a chunky cable, and even the Alpine stitch she's thrown in. 
Whoa, this one definitely bounces out the page, doesn't it? Uh, how many of you would actually want to do this one? All oh, that black yarn. <laughs> this one, of course, is a neon city. Now, if you're going to do it, you're just going to have to go bright within colours, aren't you? Um, this one has um, wavy bubbles, single crochets, um, some simple frills, single crochet in it. <laughs> Um, and a short fringe to finish off now of course as I said I'm skipping the majority of the information as to what stitches these are and things um, then we because we're going to move straight on to the 100 st strip patterns I'm actually really intrigued with this book I haven't had this sort of excitement for a little while <laughs> Especially not where I'm going, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Are you ready? We've got 100 strip patterns here. How has she got these written out? Oh, this is going to be difficult for me to hide. Right. So uh, what we've got here is, oh, I'm safe. It's single crochet. I'm, not, I'm all right on this page. Right. So uh, what we've got here is we have got how to do it in written, in the written method and also the chart version as well as what it should look like <laughs> once you've finished your sample um what else have we got yeah so that's pretty much looks how the simple ones look i'm not really going to be able to show you loads here i'm just going to flick through quickly so we've got um extended um single crochets um, a half doubles, bubbles. So the start of the book, it's showing it's basically blocks of stitches, and it's the same as stitch. Okay, so you could quite easily do something like this based off of my stitch a week set. Um, that would look really cool. Actually, I might as well just do that myself, and then you lot will follow. Could follow. Um, and then we're moving on to um. And different style stitches here but I'm just going to quickly a flick through okay um I can't as I said I can't really give you too much but yeah I can see where you've got where you could make thousands of different styles just from those 100 blocks basically all right, so as you can see here at the back of the book, we've got our basic stitches. So it's showing you how to do those, if you need to know. And it's covering all of them that are in the book. And then you have the section on mosaic crochet, as well as our tapestry crochet there. Then we have the finishing, which is joining your stripes. And then edging. I don't know. Would I really want to sit there and make loads of stripes? I suppose if I'm on an aeroplane, making a stripe would be better. If I'm in the car, it would be easier than taking the whole project. But as I barely ever go anywhere, <laughs> I would just probably prefer to work one stripe straight into the next. Rather than having, having to sit there and join the stripes together what do you think is it a method that you like the look of and that you would do or have done hmm. I don't know um if you could pop a comment in the comment section down below tell me I'm being daft if if needs be that'd be really good right um let's get back to the book because I went a bit off on a tangent there we've got the edge in the block in the pom-poms and the tassels also are covered and then we have a, a section about as me here um that tells you a little bit more about her then she has done a beautiful section here with banks and then we move on to our index pages and of course the back of the book with all the other information <laughs> about David and Charles and the uh, publishing there so remember if I've got any more of the books I will of course have those up in the i button 
and this was $16.99 in the UK or $24.99 in the US. So uh, what do you think? Would this one make it to your bookshelf? Um, or would this be a, a library borrow for you? I'm tempted. Um, but I don't know. Oh, I think I might have to sleep on this one. Right. That is it for me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this um, book review. Please remember to leave a thumbs up. Double check you're subscribed. It's free. And of course, check that bell and make sure it's clicked at all so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, that is it for me for today. I will see you all really, really soon. So please remember, stay chilled, stay happy and keep crafting. Goodbye, everybody.